Hey, it's Bill the Fix-It Guy up here in Northern California. How y'all doing today? So today I picked up this, uh... Oh, it's a Husqvarna. Husqvarna with a Briggs & Stratton. And... Oh, it's got this really weird transmission on it. Look, looks like the cable's busted off. Uh, but it's got a little bit of life into it. What I found was... This is a 21 inch blade. Apparently this is very, fairly common. This is probably the most common size. I don't know, I'm just guessing. Uh, Cause I actually had another mower and that other blade popped in there real easily. So what I did is I spun this and I look at it and I'm looking for a bent shaft here. If we got a bent shaft there, then, then it's gonna be a problem. Um, not much you can do with a bent shaft. If you try and bend it back, it may tweak that seal in there. Um, but anyway, this one, the blade that I had, these blades are about 20 bucks at the hardware store. Um, and they have different separations between these two holes here. And so the blade that I had has a different separation, it's got a wider separation. And instead of hooking it directly on the shaft, the other blade I had had this little big washer that went inside the little holes. So it's actually holding, this washer is actually holding it. Uh, inside this hole inside the blade here just like this so it's holding in place and so theoretically this one's good I I cleaned up the edges you can see I've got rust prevention pri primer on it to save that because the most common problem with these things is the, the, uh, the deck rusts out over time okay here's another common problem the Basically, the pull, pull starters, they wear out right here because of the rubbing here. If, if these are set up on a, on a little uh, catch right here, I took this one off because I don't like them. If these are set up here, it, it puts a weird angle on the, uh, on, the, on the rope and it rubs, it tends to rub the rope uh, to break in any way. So, okay, so if your lawnmower does not start, here's a couple things to check. Make sure that it's kind of hard to do, but if you if it if you do this and it will attempt to start, not run, it could be that this vent here is not working correctly. So um, you may need a new gas cap. Um, next thing is always want to make sure that you do have gas and you do have oil. Some uh, machines, if they don't have oil they will not run uh, I'm thinking the Hondas mainly and then so next thing would be to check your filter these filters can be somewhat cleaned out simply by kind of back flushing them and the next thing to do is get yourself some starting fluid spray it in the carburetor and then if it uh, pops then you know you have sparks so you have good ignition if it doesn't run then you know you have a carburetor problem okay thanks for watching and so yeah that's your tip for today if you need any help you can contact me 707-443-8347 pacific time nine to five i give phone advice for 25 dollars also do local repairs on small engines and thanks for watching